Have you ever tried to watch a movie in Korean with Japanese subtitles or to go to China? Um, it is indeed pretty difficult to understand something if you don't speak any of those languages. In this way, language can be a barrier in our everyday life. But we'll see that it um, also can be very important in many ways. Um, first, language is definite if definite as a formal system that includes uh, sounds, signs um, and gestures that are used um, as an important means of communicating the thoughts, um, ideas and emotions from one individual to another. <coughs> But to what extent is language a powerful tool? Um, first of all, we'll see that um, language is a way to exist, and uh, we'll see in a second part uh, in the second part that um, language is also a way to communicate, and we'll finishing uh, with um, with um, language as a way uh, to overcome obstacles. Um, so first of all, language um, is a way to exist. In fact, language is a part of who you are and your identity because it's a part of your culture and your history. So um, on top of that, depending on the language you use and your accent, people may see you differently and judging you. Somehow it represents the way uh, you reflect yourself in society. Um, In this respect, I'm going to present you an excerpt from a movie called My Fair Lady. Um, this movie is about a professor trying to teach um, a girl uh, speaking uh, Cockney English. Um, that girl is named Eliza. Um, so he's going to uh, try to teach her um, how to speak a proper English uh, so she could become um, a lady. Uh, in this excerpt, the teacher is trying to teach her how to enunciate the letter H with a machine. So um, she has to say a tongue twister and when she enunciates the letter um, correctly, uh, a flame uh, will waver. But if she drops the H, uh, the flame will waver, uh, will remain um, sta stationary. Um, thanks to that excerpt, we can maintain that Language is a way to, um, to be included and involved in society. In fact, um, in the movie, Eliza is trying to become a lady and to reach uh, the high society uh, thanks to la language. So we can assume that um, her accent is a barrier that prevents her from this noble title in the first place. And that's why she's trying to improve her language. Uh, Those learning, uh, there's learning a proper English is a way to escape from bad living um, conditions and discriminations because of accents um, to, to attain a uh, nobility or at least uh, respect, respect from others. <clears throat> so in this way, language allows, her, allows to reach our goals and to become who we want to be. <clears throat> Moreover, language is a way to exist because it's a way to express ourselves and our thoughts. So it's a way to communicate and to express our ideas and our conviction. In this way, uh, it can be hard to understand someone if you don't speak uh, the same languages. Indeed, um, it uh, uh, language represents a, bar a real barrier. And on top of the language, there is also what is coming with it, like the culture and the customs and codes of this culture, um, as we can see on an excerpt from the movie Lost in Translation. <clears throat> uh, the excerpt focuses on a man shooting on for a commercial. Um, so he is the actor of the commercial, and uh, there is a director who's trying to give him directions and information for the shoot, but in Japanese. So, um, in order to understand each other, there is a translator. But we can see that there are some 
communicating troubles. Uh, in fact, the, t- the translator is uh, trying to smooth things over so she wouldn't vex any um, anybody. Um, besides, their body languages are very different. Uh, they are almost opposing. Um, the director uh, moves around a lot. He pays back and forth. Um, he gestures a lot. And he, he shouts a lot also. Um, while... Uh, on the opposite, the actor is sitting still, um, he's almost trapped in an armchair, and he's very quiet. <coughs> um, in this way, everything seems uh, to separate them, and <coughs> it, become, it becomes difficult to understand each other's visions for um, their work together. So it's hard for the director to explain to to the actor what he he's supposed to convey on the commercial um and thanks to this excerpt we can assure that language is an important way of communi- to communicate um in fact if two people don't speak the same language it's hard for them to understand each other and to um understand the customs that go with the culture and the culture that is with the language um, so things might uh, also differ because um, what would seem obvious for a native speaker of a language would be hard for an outsider even he's l- he he learned even if he learned the language it, some, some things can be hard to understand um, at last uh, language allows us to communicate and to express our ideas, but also <coughs> to, convince, to convince others. In this respect, uh, language is a way to overcome obstacles, uh, for example, thanks to the art of speaking and convincing. Um, so I think the movie The Great Debaters is a great example. It's the perfect example um, to show the art of speaking. In fact, this movie is about uh, African-American students uh, forming, uh, creating a debating uh, debate team at school and they are going to win debate after debate and um, they are going to, um, in order to debate against um, white Americans and to show them that Black people are not inferior, or not, they are not idiots, and that they can beat them, and that um, they should take them seriously. Um, in fact, this movie takes place in 1935. So African Americans are noble slaves, but they still face racism and discriminations every day. Um, for example, schools are still segregated at that time. Um, so this movie shows how language is a way to overcome obstacles here uh, through debates. Uh, uh, in fact, the, the debaters use words as weapons to convince others and to show them their point. Um, they use weapons to win. Um, they use uh, arguments to maintain their point and their opinion and to prove that what they're saying is right. Um, on top of that, we can use language and words to overcome obstacles. Um, indeed, it is known that talking about problems can help to overcome those difficulties. Uh, in fact, saying things out loud, out loud and putting words on a problem uh, may help. Uh, on this excerpt, they are fighting against racism and talking about it, debating about it with white American. Um, they don't stay quiet and they don't accept the situation, they fight against it. Um, to put it in a nutshell, language is a powerful tool because it represents a way to exist and it influences who we are, but it's also an important way of communication that allows us to understand each other. Uh, At last, it allows us to overcome obstacles thanks to the art of speaking and convincing. 
However, language can also be dangerous because you can hurt, you can use it to hurt someone and it's also the reason of much discrimination, for example, uh, because of accents.